Since they began making agricultural irrigation pipe in 1982, Diamond Plastics has become one of the leading PVC pipe manufacturers in the world, boasting the world's largest diameter gasketed pipe at 60 inches. Diamond Plastics has also grown by supplying PVC pipe for industrial and municipal applications and now has seven geographically strategic plant locations across the United States. We all use PVC pipes every day, even if we never see them. They carry water to and waste from our homes, businesses, and schools, improving the health and convenience of our everyday lives. Polyvinyl chloride, commonly known as PVC, is a durable rigid plastic. It was originally invented over 100 years ago, but it has been used throughout the U.S. for over 50 years. The basic formula can be blended with various additives to create many strong but flexible products like garden hoses, or as Diamond Plastics blends it, into superior corrosion-free pipes. The raw materials used to make PVC come to the plant facility by rail cars and trucks. The majority of the incoming raw material is stored in silos just outside the plant building. Creating PVC starts with a specialized batch of ingredients carefully blended together for their specific application. The individual recipe for the PVC depends upon the end application. It generally consists of the primary ingredient of resin and five to eight different raw materials. Water and sewer pipes, for example, have similar but very different recipes. The exact ingredients and quantities vary as to which type of pipe is being produced and are created to strict industry standards. These high governing standards are also used later in testing the finished product. The raw materials enter into the plant blending room through pipes coming from the storage silo. Depending upon the blended mix desired, the materials are combined in either a hot or cool mixer. Paddles and blades inside the mixer tubes blend the raw materials together. In some cases, the mixed compounds will head back out of the plant to be stored in the holding silo. For the manufacturing process to begin, the mixed compounds are moved from either the blending room or the holding silo. Simple gravity is used to move the powder compound down from the hopper into the extrusion process. Heat stabilizers and lubricants that are blended into the mix act as a lubricant throughout the heating process. The compound then enters the extruder, a barrel surrounded by 300 degree heat bands. Two precision set screws act like an auger compressing and melting the compound while moving it forward toward the extrusion die. With the compound now hot and pliable, it is pushed through the extrusion die into the desired pipe shape, determined by the sizing sleeve. As the plastic exits the sleeve, the thickness of the pipe wall is determined by the speed the pipe is pulled from it. This controls both the inner and outer diameter of the pipe wall to match specific industry standards. A solid wall pipe from Diamond Plastics can range from 1.5 to 48 inches in diameter, which are the largest solid wall pipes made in the United States. Diamond Plastics is in the process of adding 54 and 60 inch solid wall PVC pipe to their product mix. Air pressure helps to expand and hold the shape of the inner pipe. Air pressure is maintained with a sizing plug that is pulled along the inside of the newly formed pipe. The hot PVC is then moved through a series of cooling tanks that spray chilled water on the pipe. Each 40 foot long spray tank uses recycled water that is processed within the plant facility, reducing the environmental impact. At the end of the cooling tanks, a puller controls the speed that the pipe is traveling. A precise speed is required to ensure that the walls of the pipe have a consistent, specified thickness. As the pipe moves out of the puller, a jet printer imprints specific manufacturing information on the cooled product, allowing every pipe made to be tracked. A large clamp will lock down around the pipe and begin moving with it as a diamond-tipped saw blade begins cutting the pipe to typical laying lengths of 14, 20, 22, 40, and 44 feet, depending on application. As the saw blade rotates around the pipe, a chamfered blade will cut an angle or beveled connective edge on the spigot end of the pipe. When the pipe leaves the cutting process, workers will carefully measure the wall thickness of the pipe to ensure superior quality and consistency. In order for the pipes to fit together, a large bell shape and gasket is fitted on the non-beveled end of the pipe. As you can see, many levers are used to roll the pipes into position for the belling process. In order to make the bell, the end of the pipe is moved into a heater to make the PVC pliable again. The pipe is rotated to maintain a consistent heating temperature. Diamond Plastics uses what the industry considers the best method of forming the bell on the end of the pipe, which is called reber gasketing. 
To prepare for the belling, a steel form called a mandrel is used to create the proper shape. A rubber gasket is loaded onto the mandrel and lowered into position. When the pipe reaches desired pliability, it is pushed onto the mandrel to create the proper shape. The bell is formed around the gasket and the bell form, using air pressure of 40 pounds per square inch. The gasket now fits tightly into the bell-shaped plastic. It will now be moved to quality assurance and packaging, unless it is a water pressure product, which requires hydro testing. A computer-controlled cart then moves the water pipe down to the online hydro testing area. Once it is unloaded into the testing area, it is slid into position. A cap and plug are applied to the spigot and bell ends respectively at each end of the pipe. Pressurized water fills the pipe which confirms that both ends of the pipe are watertight and can withstand standard pressure requirements while maintaining it for a specific period of time. As the pipe rolls out of the hydro tester, black rubber marks become visible on its spigot end. This verifies to the customer that the pipe has been hydro tested and is ready for installation. The finished unit will now be moved to packaging and storage to wait for shipping. Quality assurance testing is an important part of the manufacturing process. Besides the online hydro testing, Diamond Plastics conducts a series of other tests to confirm that their PVC products measure up to exacting industry standards. An impact strength test ensures that the wall of the pipe can withstand an impact. A cutoff section of pipe is loaded into a cage and a round tip 30 pound weight is raised to a specific product related height before being dropped onto the pipe wall. Any crack or breaking in the pipe would indicate a failure. Stiffness testing determines the horizontal load pressure that the pipe can withstand to meet industry standards. Another cut piece of pipe is loaded into a cage and a hydraulic press pushes down on it. The meter and readout indicate the load pressure, which the technicians calculate to determine the sewer pipe stiffness. A flattening test is performed in which a cut piece of pipe is hydraulically flattened to about half its original height. PVC is capable of flattening until the opposite sides of the wall touch. Once removed, it is checked for any cracks or breaks in the materials. A cut piece of the pipe is placed into an acetone immersion bath for 20 minutes. When removed, the technician looks for flaking, discoloration, or bubbling of the PVC, which would signal a failure and suggest an improper material bond during the extrusion process. To meet standard requirements, pipe is routinely burst pressure tested. A section of pipe is capped and lowered into an in-ground test bunker, and a heavy metal cover is moved into place. The pipe is filled with water, and the pressure increased to specified levels. For DR18 products, that is 750 pounds per square inch. Pipes are required to reach these levels without failing. Pressures in excess of 1,000 pounds per square inch are routinely required to cause failure. With manufacturing and testing completed, the pipes are bound together in bundles, depending upon their size, for ease of storage and transport. Diamond plastic workers load the packed pipes on the flatbed. As the truck drivers tighten down each layer of pipe, once all the pipes are loaded and tied down, the truck will move to the exit area of the facility. Numbers are placed on each trailer and recorded along with each pipe's corresponding tracking number and destination information. This system allows for reliable tracking and service to our clients. The tractor trailers haul the pipe all over the continental United States. Depending upon the construction project, it may require one or dozens of truckloads to transport to the construction site. Once installed, they will begin their reliable service in our everyday lives. They may be unseen, but Diamond Plastics PVC pipe plays a critical part in our water, agricultural, and waste management. Today and into the future for all of us.